according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than half of people experience one or more traumas in their early years. The speaker is sharing her own story and the process of making choices. The process is whether to share only the bright parts or share difficulties too. Eventually, she decided to talk about the challenges and the process of overcoming them. Uh, the speaker, a survivor of child sexual abuse, and she kept these difficulties uh, a secret for a long time. During counseling, she opened up about the secret and the, and the abuse stopped and the pain deleted slowly. One significant realization in this process is the, is the importance of attention, sharing, and interaction. The person who made an effort to break barrier was Teacher Render. Oh, teacher Render. Constantly expressing interest and attempting conversation, Render gradually broke down the, broke down the emotional words, becoming a trusted person for the speaker. Next is counseling teacher, Mr. McFadden. Through numerous counseling, Mr. McFadden provided treating mechanisms and boosted the speaker's confidence. Introducing this case, the speaker says three things. First, teachers should pay attention to students' stories, show uh, interest and engage in interaction. Second, teachers should not only focus on academic development and but also play a role in emotional support and guidance. Third, teachers should cultivate interest in students. This applies not only to kindergarten or elementary school, especially for middle and high school students who may feel the pressure to handle things on their own. It is important to recognize their difficulties, the surface of achievement or pressure. Ultimately, the most important thing is sharing stories to form in empathy. As one person shares, it opens the door for more people to share and collectively overcome greater challenges. Sharing stories is like finding light in the darkness. Thank you.